Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel. So today's video we are going to talk about how do you file for income tax in Malaysia. As some of you may know, I have been working for one and a half years since um, October 2019. But because I have only worked for three months in 2019, so like I didn't really hit the minimum requirement to file for tax but I just filed it just so I have a record in the system. And now that is 2021 and in 2020, I work for 12 months. It's going to be so much more difficult because, you know, you have to file for tax deductions and then tax relief, especially with all this COVID, all these special reliefs, right? And like, what am I supposed to file? What document do I need? It, it just sounds so complicated. <laughs> I've been procrastinating since early March and now is April 18 is two weeks from the deadline is two weeks from now um, there's no choice but I have to fall hopefully you will find this video useful can help you you know make your adulting life a tad bit easier basically LHDN is saying that any individual that earns more than 34000 a year after EPF deduction has to file for income tax. I will split it into two parts. I call it the 5 times 5 formula. Let's go to the first 5 first. You need to have an income tax number first. So how do you check if you have an income tax number already? Basically, there's two ways. The first way is you can check whether your company has registered for you. Go to this link in the description. Click on it, key in your details, and then if you see that there's a number with SG and then a bunch of numbers, that is your income tax number. Then you're done and you can move on to step two. Else, you have to go to this eDafta website and then key in all the details to apply for an income tax number yourself. Step 2 is you have to go to any LHDM branch nearby to apply for a 16 digits PIN in order for you to be able to log in to your e-filing account. There are websites that tell you you can apply for your 16 digits PIN online but based on my experience last year, I personally think that going to LHDM is the fastest. You just go there, go to the counter, tell them that you want to apply for the 16 digits PIN to log in to your e-filing account. Fill out whatever form that they gave you and then pass it back to the counter, you will get your 16 digits pinned within 5 minutes. Go to your e-filing website and then tap on login for the first time, put in the 16 digits pin that you just gotten just now and your IC number. You will see like a dashboard with all your information. Scroll down to find this e-form. Tap on e-form and then go and pick EBE year 2020. So the EBE form is for individuals like me, someone who is working for a company because we don't have a business. Step 5 is where you start to file for your income tax. And this is where we go to part 2 of the 5 times 5 formula. For the first part, you will see personal details. Basically, your name, your IC, your income tax number that you got just now. Review it. If it's okay, click next. And then go to step 2. So step 2 is where you have all your other details. Basically, things like your phone number, your email. And then at the bottom, this is the important part, okay? You will see there's a part with bank account and then bank account number. Make sure, make sure this part is correct because in the event that you pay extra income tax and you, you are going to get some refund, right? This is the account where LHDM will refund to you. So if you key in the wrong one, I'm not sure what will happen. You might be able to solve it, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of hassle in it, so don't do it. Make sure it's correct, just double check. Basically, you have to key in all your income for year 2020, including your salary, bonuses, pensions if any, or if you have any other side hustle, you have to put in all the income here. Once you're done, move on to step 4. I think step 
Singapore is the one that got all of us very reluctant to file for income tax because this is a part where we think is more complicated. It's actually not that complicated, just continue watching. Step four is where you file for all your tax deductions and tax reliefs. Any individuals are eligible to get a default deduction of 9,000, so you will see it right there. After the 9,000, at the bottom, you'll see all the other things, for example, expenses for your parents, and then deductions for your lifestyle, insurance, etc. If you don't understand um, what to key in, how much to key in at different sections, right? You can just hover your mouse over to that green info box. Then there will be a pop-up that tells you what goes into this category. For example, for lifestyle, they will tell you if you spend on books, journals, magazines, if you buy laptops, smartphones, or if you pay for internet, etc. You can just put it in this section and you can claim up to 2,500 tax deduction from this. Follow the instruction, key in, and then review it and click next. Step 5 is a summary. You have your income just now that you filed for section 3, and then you have all the tax relief that you filed for section 4, right? So the system will automatically calculate how much you need to pay for the income tax. Then they will tell you whether you have paid extra this year or you need to pay more. Check the top right corner and you will know how much money is that. And once you are done, you think everything is okay, just click next and then request for TAC, sign your name, everything. You will be brought to this acknowledgement page and you are done. Congratulations! You can just save a copy of it Put it in your laptop or, or phone for future reference and come back next year. This year's um, income tax, I personally think it's so much easier because the f I think they revamp, they revamp the form. So um, I think for me, the challenges would be you have to remember what you spent last year. So remember to always keep your receipt in a folder or in your computer. So before I file, I actually have to pay around extra 30 ringgit for the tax. And after I file, I get back money. So remember to file your taxes. Don't forget, it's not that bad. So yeah, um, for your taxes now, it's only what one or by the time this video is out, maybe one week left. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully this video is able to help you a little bit at least on how to file for tax income tax in Malaysia. So row your boat in life. No JK. Row your boat in your income tax form and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.